Randy Fun's team out for a sixth straight win. It's a reunion arena for the highlights of this one. And that's Richie Adubato looking for some help. And look what his team does early. Sean Rooks inside with a big game he had. And Derek Harper behind the back to Terry Davis. It's the running one-hander. The Maverick shot 82% in the first quarter against Randy Fun's team. Lakers down 13, but worthy to Anthony Peeler. And the Lakers lead by one at the break. And in the second half, L.A. comes out looking like the coach. Sharp. Siddell, three. He had 23. Then... James Worthy. He'll miss the jumper, but it's Peeler one more time. Following up inside. Anthony Peeler at 15. The Lakers were up 11. Game over, right? No, Richie out of bottles. Mavs charge back. Walter Bond, the rookie out of Minnesota, like James Bond. Two of his 21. Sean Rooks, he had 22. A slam over Vlade. Three point play. And look at the Mavs. Happy to finally get another win. The Lakers were limited to 11 points in the fourth quarter. And the Dallas 7th end of the first quarter. Robert Pack gets it. And the Nuggets up nine after one for Dan Issel. Second quarter, Buck Williams blocked by Jakembe Mutombo. The other Georgetown guy on this team, Reggie Williams. The alley-oop to LaFunzo Ellis. Big game for the rookie. Nuggets up three at the half. And in the third quarter, Mark Bryant steps up the play, gets the rebound, and throws it back down with authority. The Blazers by one after three. And in the fourth, Terry Porter all alone. TP for three of his 22. And in the... Crunch time, it was Clyde who took over Drexler over Matumbo. He had five in the last three minutes, 25 for the game in Portland. He can talk about help from your friends. Watch Kenny Norman get a boost to the goal by Lloyd Vaughn. Golden State up one in the third when Chris Mullen gets tossed from the game for arguing. Do not read his lips. Fourth quarter, Golden State leads by eight, but not for long. Harper the three. The lead would get down to two points, and the Clippers go to Danny. Pulling some miracles is Manning. Game tied at 106. Warriors scrambling. Time running down. Latrell Sprewell to Jeff Grayer. Gets it up and it's a two-point lead. But the clips right back. Mark Jackson, the free-throw line jumper. Tied at 108. Last shot time to win. Grant. No, and we go OT. And in the extra session, it's Grant redeeming himself. The Clippers would take as big as a six-point lead. But Paul Pressy, the former assistant coach to Hardaway. The Warriors by one. Time running down. Mark Jackson has it. If it's in, they win. Didn't go in, they didn't win. Golden State wins by two, sweeping the home and home for the first time in 17 seasons against anyone. North Carolina, Alonzo Mourning picking up the slack. He was once again outstanding, misses but goes after it and sticks it. Six point Hornets lead. Then off the break, Muggsy Bogues in the air. The no look to Larry Johnson. A 10 point Hornets lead. Up 50 40 at the break, third quarter. Carl Malone, the turnaround jumper. He had 21. Utah taking a one-point lead. Larry Johns, big call here. Whistled for the offensive foul. It swung the game around. He didn't agree with it. Neither did Alan Bristow. His second technical. He's out of the game. He goes manic. So Stockton hits a couple of free throws. And that adds to it. Hitting the jumper. 84. 76 Jazz starting to pull away. Johnson goes across the lane. He scored 29. It was a two-point game. Stockton, one of his 10 assists to Malone, who's mugged by Johnson. But still, the Hornets have a chance to win. Trailing by two, the three ball at the buzzer, and it does not go. So the Jazz on the road, winning once again, 93-91. The Malone and Larry Bird back home in Indiana. What a great shooter he was. He didn't see a lot of great shooting. The X-Man forces the shot and doesn't hit it. Then again, from the corner, three of 10 from the floor. Reggie Lewis, the ball in the paint. Maybe should have kicked the ball back out. He forces the shot and it does not go. Then Rick Fox gets to it, the rebound, and gets it back to Lewis, who misses. He was 2 of 10 from the floor. Kevin McHale, double teamed. Fleming and Smith's on him, but he's going to throw up the shot anyway. McHale, 1 out of 8. Maybe this guy should suit up and try to shoot it. Even when the Celtics pass the ball well, Bart Kofog missed. Two of five from the floor. <laughs> That's Bart Kofu, not Tofu. It was a grim shooting night for the Celtics. They shot 20% of the first half bars, bringing it up and then loses it. Wayne Farrell hits off the bench. He had 16. The Hawks have the lead 29 to 23. Second quarter, Travis Mays, the three-pointer. The Hawks lead 59 to 41. But don't mess with Bill. Third quarter, Lambeer, the foul line jumper. The Pistons close to within five. Still in the third quarter, Dennis Rodman shoots, misses, Lambeer, the follow that goes. It's a five-point difference. Third quarter, Isaiah feeding Lambeer, the trailing jump shot. It's a three-point game. Then in the fourth quarter, the Hawks with a one-point lead. Look at the time. 
Thomas shoots, misses, but Lambeer is there with an eighth of a tenth of a second to go. If I said that right, I was so excited. The shot, Bill Lambeer, eight tenths of a second is what I meant, and the Pistons win it 89 to 88 over 45. Cleveland at halftime, they add to it. Price off the pick. Nice pass to Brad Doherty, who scored 26, and Larry Nance, who had 14. Going for the rebound, comes down on the foot of Hot Rod Williams, injuring his right ankle. And at last check, they did take x-rays, and the injury not believed to be serious, but he did. Five-game road swing west, and they're shorthanded with Harvey Grant out of the starting lineup with shin splints on Thursday night. So Tom Gugliotta would have to take over some of the offense. Some people... Pat Riley, Pat Ewing said he can do the things that Larry Bird did, the myriad of things. He's not on Bird's caliber. He's got a long time to go. But you see outside and inside, Gugliotta has a very versatile game. What a tough shot there. Harvey Grant in civvies liked it, but for the Bulls, here's a guy who can do everything. Michael Jordan off the alley-oop got pushed in the back by Rex Chapman and Robin Ficker, who read Michael the Jordan rules last year, trying to rattle him again, but you can't. Pippen to Jordan. Michael was just 12 of 29 from the field. Wes Unsell tried to stop him with the defense. Didn't matter. Fast break broken up by B.J. Armstrong. Goes the other way. Now watch it go the other way. Grant starts it to Jordan. Perfect alley-oop to Pippen. In the third quarter, the Bulls led by 14. But Googs would bring the Bullets back. The former NC State star. Nice pass. That was his only assist of the evening. But to Michael Adams and the Bullets cut the lead against Phil to four. Phil Jackson lost the gum out of his mouth. But Michael hung on to the ball and hung on to the lead. He missed 12 shots in the game, but had 11 of the last 13 for the lead by Chris Morris. You want a big slam? Derek Coleman clears the path for Mo. Then Morris, a little pass, Sam Bowie at first, and behind the back, great dish in the air to D.C. Coleman for two, and the Nets lead by two, but the Bucks rally in the fourth. Todd Day to Lee Mayberry. It's an Arkansas connection, and the game is even at 97, thanks to the X-Hogs. After two Milwaukee free throws, 28 seconds left. Kenny Anderson, the drive, the quick first step. Nets tied at 99. Other end, Alvin Robertson to Frank Brickowski. And the Bucks lead, 101-99. Now six seconds left. Sam Bowie, you don't want him creating a shot for himself. He missed it, but Petro gets the rebound. He's fouled. Score it with one. Game tied at 101 apiece. So Petro to the line. With one second left, gets the shooter's roll. And the Nets hang on to win 102-101. Todd Day had a last second. The Rockets, defense, the accent was on defense. After the turnover, Kenny Smith has it taken away. And Otis Thorpe with a slam dunk. And then Akeem and Robinson go at it. A lot of grabbing and groping and pushing and shoving. Looked like Senator Robert Packwood there. We kid. Third quarter, Robinson comes back, gets his own rebound. Spurs actually led by two. But Robinson was in foul trouble most of the game. Otis Thorpe leading the Rockets, going from one end to the other with a one-handed stick, and that'll give him a headache. Where's the towel, Tark? Rockets take command with Akeem. Watch the quick spin move, plus the foul. Olajuwon had 31 points and 12 rebounds as the Rockets take the Spurs, 121-109. to And one of his seven blocks on the night, Scott Skiles gets it going, and Dennis Scott on the other end lays it in for Orlando. The Magic, a much different team at home this season than Shaq. Showing some agility here with a reverse layup. Boy, if he can get that shot to go every night, he'll be tough to stop. 22 points on the night for Shaquille O'Neal. The Magic up 12 at halftime. Randy St. Jean looking for help in the second half. The Kings go on a 9-0 run. Spud Webb to Dwayne Coswell. So they cut it close. But then watch Rod Higgins just kind of throw it up. And it went in. Magic answer with a 17-5 run. Dennis Scott for the jam. Matt Gukas, reason to smile. because.